KNON 89.3 FM in Dallas and Fort Worth, the voice of the people. Business owners, tell KNON's listeners about your business. You can put your business or event on KNON. KNON currently has space available to run announcements for you. Tell KNON's listeners about your goods, services, nightclub, concert, or event. Help keep the voice of the people on the air while putting your information on the air. KNON's been named the number one radio station in Dallas by both the Dallas Observer and D Magazine. Put your business with Dallas's number one station. Call now for more information at 214-828-9500, extension 227, or extension 233. For more information, go to KNON.org and click on the Run Spots on KNON page. It's a great way for your business to support community radio while letting more people know about you. You are listening to KNON 89.3 FM in Dallas, Fort Worth. Pledge now. Call 972-647-1893 now to make your pledge. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Alpha and Omega Weekly. I'm your host, the Reverend Oral Taffet. On the panel me- with me this morning are Whitey Landis and Early Finkelstein. Our guest today is Eagle Forum President Aaron Moore, author of the new book, Legitimate Rape. Mrs. Moore, please, please thank your husband for allowing you to be here with us today. Uh, this week, Delaware became the 11th state to legalize homosexual marriage. And the Minnesota House uh, voted to change the definition of marriage as it's been known since biblical times. Hopefully, none of your marriages have been affected. Let us pray. Yes, it is pledge driving. That's what could happen to Kano Inn if you don't pledge. Uh, We could become just like all the other 62 stations in Dallas and, quite frankly, all the other stations in Texas. Instead of shows like Lambda Weekly, you'd be tuning in right now to Rush or Hannity or Glenn Beck. Instead of Jim Schultz's Get Off My Lawn, you'd be listening to Let's Have a Tea Party on the Grass. Workers Beat would would be replaced uh, with the popular It's All Obama's Fault. And station manager Dave Chaos, who allows this all, all this nonsense, will be replaced with station manager Dave Normal. So call us at 972-647-1893 and make a pledge to keep Early Finkelstein and company off the air. That's 972-647-1893. You have no idea how hard it was not to reach over and slap you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, that's it. He's officially gone crazy. <laughs> Slap David with your pledge. And, and, and say, Slap him hard. Uh, early and Aaron didn't know what, what we were doing. They were just kind of looking like, at us like, like, what are you doing here? Well, it's Pledge Drive, and we do need your pledge. The number to call is 972-647-1893. That's 972-647-1893. Uh, we have a new pledge premium here be a day sponsor support KNON and hear your own personal message on the air celebrate a birthday surprise a friend honor an anniversary or announce your business or just do an announcement like god texas what's wrong with you (laughs) delaware just uh passed same-sex marriage minnesota's about to pass same-sex marriage texas get on the ball now understand these shows would be Oh, or this this announcement would be uh, heard around the clock on the gospel shows, on, on all the shows. So it can be whatever the message you like. Exactly. It, and the station would love that because they're all on our side. A pledge to KNON of $500 gets you one announcement at the start of every hour, all day, for a 24-hour period. That's a pretty good deal. That's a really good deal. good deal. Right. No no more than two day sponsors will be scheduled per day. So, uh, you, you know, you you're... Compete with it. Yeah, you're not competing. You know, yours will be on today. Somebody else is the next day. So uh, give us a call, 972-647-1893. That's 64, uh, 972-647-1893. 
it, 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 they have some real, uh, you know, real ucky little messages here. But our listeners are not going to do those kinds of messages like, today's programming on KNON is sponsored in part by Laurent Landis. We're not doing that. No, no, it's, no. You know, you, you can be out there with your message. Yes. And the only thing that it can't be, I guess, it couldn't be a political message like, um, you know, vote for so-and-so. But the elect well, actually, the election won't be over. But, um, th that but you would could be say something like, say it loud, I'm queer and I'm proud. You could. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Could. yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. But, you know. <laughs> <yeah>. No. <laughs> classier than that. <laughs> yeah, you could be classier than that. Clint is looking at me like, oh, I knew we shouldn't have uh, offered this to Lambda Weekly. I knew that they were going to take a $500 pledge. Even Clint won't turn this one down. A $500 pledge will help you write your message if you'd like us to, because, yeah. you know, early, fin early Finkelstein over here, she's she yeah. knows how to turn a word. This is true. This a, a, and make a non-political, political message. And see, we need a $500 pledger for Lambda Weekly just to make Clint yeah. more nervous. Mm -hmm. For a week, for the okay. next one. Because if we don't have a pledger that takes somebody up on it. we got to keep and Clint on his toes. Mm -hmm. Right. And like I said, can't be a political message. It no. can't be a political message. But it can be something like, um, you know, congratulations to uh, Minnesota, which became the latest marriage equality state. Something like that. Can't be a political message. Can't be a, a religious message of any sort. But it can be, a, uh, you know, just a good general congratulations. We have lots of pledge drive items. Uh, Voice of the People, Spring Blue Bonnet, North Central Texas Community Radio T-shirt design comes in a... Uh, in a soft style, regular black t-shirt, uh, and a Bella Ladies black vintage short sleeve tee. Uh, comes in sizes small through triple extra large only. It does not come in quadruple extra large, uh, but only, well, that's what it says, small through quadruple, uh, through triple extra large only. <laughs> only. Um, Ray-Ban style black sunglasses. We have the new KNON now black that sunglasses. That is cool. They, they are. Uh, and, you know, for a, um, how much is that? How much? For $35 each or two for $60, you know that you need that $60 pledge. And the reason that you need uh, to, to get two pair is because you are going to lose one. <laughs> so give us a call, 972-647-1893. That's 972-647-1893. That's 647-972-647. Thank you. You know I can't remember numbers in order. <laughs> How long have you worked here? Uh, 23 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, David, who's your guest? <laughs> uh, our, our guest today is <laughs> sitting back and just reading uh, a magazine because... She's letting us do the work. She usually does a lot of this work, and she's real good at it. Um, we would like to thank uh, Jack for making a pledge. Thank you very much, Jack, thank from Jack. Grand Prairie. Thanks, and we, I was we do appreciate about the city council that. elections in the Dallas Voice. Yeah, we don't care. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, no, <laughs> it is election day. Today. It's election, it day, election day. Today. today. Yes. Yeah, so you were reading about the elections. Yes. And, yeah. In the Voice. In the Voice. It's election day. It is vote. election day. <laughs> like in my district, there's one person to vote for and two parks bills to vote for but i still go out and vote if you don't vote you're not exercising your right as a citizen and i don't care who you're voting for go vote yeah my district only had one person to vote for too did you vote uh, patty you voted already yeah. i voted early I, I voted early also did you have more than one person to vote for yes Mm -hmm. But you're in a different city. Yeah, I'm in a different city. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, it, it's just, I mean, a lot of times these smaller elections get discounted as, oh, it's not really that important, or, you know, we really don't have to go do this. But it's also these elections where, like, two votes can make the difference. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 700 people are choosing your city council person for the next two years. In you my know, city, there's a mayor running. So there's a mayor all... Uh, oh, so you're going to have better turnout, hopefully. Yeah. No. Well, we'll see. Percentage-wise, I'm talking yeah. about well, the polls are open tonight until 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. And you have to vote in your registered precinct. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, look it up online. You can go to DallasCountyVotes.org. And find out where you where you should vote today. You, you, you know the reason the reason that it's important um, in the district that now surrounds me uh, in Dallas, and my house was carved out of this district. My house and my two next door neighbors, and this one little strip. But all around us is still District Three in Dallas. Um, 
there's an incumbent, Von Seal uh, Hill, who retained like 20% of her old district. <coughs> and the rest of the district is, is from the old District 3. Now the challenger, Claudia Meyer, she'll actually pull it out if she gets out votes in her neighborhood. Her neighborhood is like far southwest Dallas. Um, you know, living in the same district, driving directly straight to her house was a 12-mile drive. I mean, that's how huge yeah, this district is. District. Um, so Hi, what a big district you have. It, it, <laughs> if her neighborhood votes and my neighborhood votes, just from the last election, there were more votes there than elected uh, Hill in the last election. But if her neighborhood gets out and votes, you know, thinking oh, there's a real threat that we're going to be overtaken by the new District 3, uh, Hill wins. So it, it's real important, and it's not going to be a high turnout uh, election in that, in that race. It amazes me that in a city of 1.2 million people with 14 districts divided evenly in terms of population, it's about 90,000 per district, mm -hmm. and you know that a couple thousand votes can take a city council seat in the city of Dallas. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. A couple of thousand. There was, I think, 750 last time in District 2. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, yeah. yeah, that's, I mean, to take to take a whole district with the total tally of votes was less than a thousand. Yeah. It's wow. ridiculous. About 90,000 people live in each district, and yeah, right. 1,000 will vote. Right. It's, it's, it's insane. And yeah. this is what affects everything mm -hmm. about our quality of life. I mean, it's the closest to, to home you can get. Yeah. Well, and I was I was hearing some stories, uh, you know, reading and hearing some stories on the news recently where they're having elections in some Middle Eastern com countries, and they're actually under threat of death. Mm -hmm. And they still go out and vote because it's that important to them, and they've just earned this right to have this freedom to even exercise that right. And we're, you know, sitting at home watching, you know, reruns instead of going out and exercising our earned right and what people are fighting for and dying for to protect and we're just oh yeah whatever mm -hmm. you know it just it makes me mad every election when people say oh it doesn't matter or, i don't vote you know i don't vote makes me matter like than it's a philosophy i don't vote makes me matter than someone than someone voting for someone i don't support because mm -hmm. i don't vote means you're not making it are you really that lame <laughs> you know so anyway i mean and the thing the other thing i was f finding interesting in the voice about the elections coming up is you know and this has been trending for a long time probably for about 10 years but the gay vote now is not only sought after but it's considered essential to winning mm -hmm. you know where when i first started in this biz uh, of equal rights you know we used to kind of have to whisper our support for people because we didn't know mm -hmm. if they wanted it or not Right. And now it's not only sought after as an endorsement because they know we'll do some work, but it's considered the swing. It's mm -hmm. considered what can tip the election. So right. I mean, I, that's a good thing. Hey, we rock. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it's um, gotten to the point really where one of the reasons that the gay vote is considered so important is that our community and if our whole community got out and voted, we elect everybody, anybody and everybody we wanted, and we don't. But like Stonewall Democrats is a good example. Um, Log Cabin Republicans is another example where if you get their endorsement or if uh, Log Cabin doesn't endorse but they do have favorites that they're working for, if you have their favor, people are going to get out and work for you. So the endorsement doesn't just mean a vote, it means um, it, it means in a, a group of votes from that group, uh, DGLA's endorsement, same thing, a group of, uh, of votes, but it also means people are going to work for you. It's, it means uh, people are going to go out and raise money for you. Donate, yeah. Uh, donate for it. It's an important block of votes. I mean, these elections are getting more and more and more expensive. Um, I think the last thing I heard was $200,000 for a city council race. Uh, District 13 uh, might top a million dollars. Wow. That's Each can uh, ridiculous. Jennifer uh, Gates has cl well, she had at the last reporting period four hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and Leland Burke had three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That was a month out, and the donations and interest just peak at this period. Right. You know, th right. in the last few weeks. Yes. So I mean, you know, any influence we have, you know, should mm -hmm. should be exerted, mm -hmm. but it's just. 
getting more and more and more expensive to do these things. So, you know, I always said you're paying for the phone banking and the materials and the word of mouth, and but what it all comes down to is that vote. You know, how much per vote are you spending? Mm -hmm. And if volunteers can do a lot of that work, then so much the better. That's why these organizations mm -hmm. like DGLA and Stonewall are so sure. important. It, it, go, going back to, you know, you said it makes you more upset when someone doesn't vote at all compared to somebody voting who you don't support. Right. I know what else that really agitates me with people in our community is when we get so complacent because we sit back and say, oh, well, we're going to lose this, uh, this proposition or something anyway, so I'm not going to bother. Because I remember very clearly when we, what, what was our version of Prop 8? Uh, it's Prop 2 in 2004. Prop 2. Oh, my God. I was trying to get everybody that I knew to get out and vote. And, and, and people didn't. And people didn't. No. And they were, it, it, some of our very own in the community were like, oh, we're going to lose it anyway. Well, if you keep saying that, of course we'll lose. Well, and the, get and out the, and vote. The key thing about that is that um, we didn't have the conversation. We've never had a statewide conversation about LGBT issues, period, right. on anything, mm -hmm. much less marriage. And so when, when that happened, we can look to Massachusetts. They did education in their state for five years. They did. They went door to door talking to people before their marriage. But you know, the other happened. thing, people didn't vote. Well, the other side did vote, and mm -hmm. it became a church thing. It in did. the place that I voted, inside the polling place, there were... Uh, which was in a church. I, I went out of my way to vote against uh, same, uh, against the anti-marriage men, amendment in a church that was campaigning against us. It, it made a difference to me to do that rather than just at the sub courthouse where I usually right. vote. Um, th they had election material inside the polling place, which totally illegal, yeah. totally illegal. They didn't care. It was that brazen. Wow. And we needed more people like me who were there who, from the uh, polling place, called election headquarters and reported them. Well, we needed more. I mean, that's... Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I know we're probably coming up yeah. on a break here, but we really need to talk about Minnesota. We're going to right after reason. the break. Um, it is Pledge Drive. We need you to give us a call, 972-647-1893. That's 972-647-1893. Um, one of our uh, pledgers asked us to please say the name of the theme song on the air. The name of our theme song is Music to Wash Dishes By. Uh, it was a song that was adopted as the theme of the Donna Reed show back in the 1950s. The reason they used the song was because it's public domain music and they didn't have the money to actually hire somebody to write a theme song. Uh, but So most people know it as the theme of the Donna Reed show. But and this is version 2.0. Uh, and this yes. song that we're using today, is it's version 2.0 of it. I like the long version. I know you do. And I'm we, just traditional that way. You are a traditionalist, and, and I, I get that. Um, if you pledge... Uh, you you can pledge online by going to the web, go to knon.org, click the Pledge Now button in the upper left-hand corner. On the right-hand side of the Pledge Now page, find the level of support you want to give and click on that level and select the thank you gift you wish to receive for your pledge. Uh, click the Buy Now PayPal button under the thank you gift or under your thank you gift and then fill out the information that PayPal will ask you for. And don't forget in to write. Don't forget to write in this show's name, Lambda Weekly. Um, click Pay Now, and you'll be redirected to a KNON page asking for your name, the show you're supporting. Fill it out, hit submit, and you're done. It really, the, the way I'm saying it, I'm reading it, but that's more confusing than it actually is. It's very logical. Go to KNON.org and make your pledge now, or call 972-647-1893. I think that's what I was trying to say. I think so. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are a couple of the pledge items? Another good pledge item is uh, it's a K-N-O-N Pronto Poncho, a black waterproof hooded rain poncho with a white K-N-O-N logo on the left side. And this has two snaps on both sides for extra protection. You know, the thing about that is they do say it's a rainproof water poncho because mm -hmm. I think most people from K-N-O-N would expect our ponchos to not be waterproof. <laughs> Why? Why? weirdo <laughs> my favorite pledge items are the random ones i really like i love this about k n o n we are so completely random you can get blue and red big ballpoint pens with the k n o n voice of the people logo on them for five pens for twenty five dollars now it doesn't say this <laughs> but those pens actually write and they all have black ink and they do it have says. ink in them yeah um I mean, uh, come on. You know, this is your community radio station. Please make your pledge. 972-647-1893. Um, we also have the KNON 15-inch by 13-inch Big Thunder tote bag. So and we like do. Big Thunder. 
Yes, we do like Big Thunder. And you can go to the, take it to the grocery store and share the KNON love. And I, I bet you, Box, that you would run into somebody who would say, I love KNON. Yes. When you go, when you take it to the oh, grocery store, oh, happens all the time. So you can get uh, for a thirty-five dollar pledge, you can get one, and you can get two for fifty dollars. And we need to take a break. You're listening to Lambda Weekly on eighty-nine point three KNON FM. I'm Dave Taffet here in the studio with the on-time Patty Fink, uh, with uh, Laron Landis, and our guest today is Aaron Moore. Thank you, and thank your husband for us, Aaron. <laughs> Community radio provides the kind of programming you won't find anywhere else on the dial. Nowhere else can you find such a variety of formats and personalities in North Texas as on KNON. But this is only possible through the support of our listeners. KNON depends on listener support to stay on the air. Now is the time for you to help keep this show on the air. This pledge drive will continue until the station reaches its goal. If you're waiting out the pledge drive, you might be waiting out the existence of this show on KNON too. So don't wait for someone else to do it. Without the support of people like you, there wouldn't be any community radio on the air in North Texas. So take a few minutes and make a pledge. 972-647-1893. 972-647-1893 to keep your favorite programs on KNON. When they're gone, they're gone for good. This is Scott from KNON's Texas Blues Radio telling you don't miss out on some great blues. KNON's Texas Blues Radio Volume 5 Blues CD. It's a CD put together by Real Blues fans for Real Blues fans like you. Texas Blues Radio Volume 5 features great local blues from Michael J. and the Paul Bird Band, J.J. and the Detonators, the Chris Watson Band, the Two Tones, Rough Cut Blues Band, Jess Stone with Charlie Love, Dave Millsap, Sir Wine and the Ass Kicking Machine, Tutu Jones, Blues Boy Bo, Buddy Whittington, Andrea Dawson, Kirkland James, Sonny Collie and Johnny Red and the Roosters. Get a copy now at Forever Young Records in Grand Prairie, Record Town in Fort Worth, and in Dallas at Bill's Records. This is a Dallas Blues Collector's item. A very limited amount of vinyl copies can be found at Forever Young Records, the sponsor of this great blues project. CD downloads are available at cdbaby.com. Whether you get it as a download, on vinyl, or on CD, all the proceeds will benefit KNON. For more info on Texas Blues Radio Volume 5, visit knon.org. This is William. I listen to Lambda Weekly at 11 a.m. on Saturdays on KNON 89.3 FM. And welcome back to Lambda Weekly. I'm David Taffet here in the studio with Patty Fink and Laurent Landis. Our guest is Aaron Moore. Um, 972-647-1893. It's the Pledge Drive. Give us a call. <laughs> do, you, do you have Pledge Drive phone number to rats? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get it out there. Let's get right on the topic. We okay. need more pledges. Okay. Call. 972-647-1893. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> Patty Fink with Pledge Drive Tourette. Yes. <laughs> Something like that. I'll do it again. Nine seven two six four seven one eight nine. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> let's get There's right to it. There's anything wrong with that. There is oh nothing wrong with that. Okay. Oh. Um, Minnesota. Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. Yes. Minnesota's to- house passed. <laughs> marriage equality this week the same day that delaware signed delaware's governor signed marriage equality into law yeah delaware so, state 11 minnesota's going to the house on monday going to, or the tuesday, senate. to the senate on monday or tuesday uh and, uh, and the governor says he, you know if it comes to his desk he, he will sign it you know here's a, a a good example of where yeah it does make a difference if you vote here we have a governor in office he won by the slimmest of margins and not even a majority really i mean these are all pluralities Mm -hmm. right because there were three people running but the person running against him who had the closest who who he was neck and neck with was so anti Mm -hmm. uh i I mean he he believed in like it's okay to murder gay people he had he had made that kind of a statement during murder gay people well and the other thing too is if you have even a somebody who's anti, who's not rabid anti. Oh, this guy was rabid. Though. I know, this, I know, but I'm yeah, saying if you don't, is, yeah. um, who's not necessarily pro, and you think you vote, even if you want to vote for a pro marriage equality bill, you might think there 
would be political repercussions and that might be just enough to keep you from voting for it you know for the people that that are on the fence about this stuff so yeah it makes a huge difference to have someone who is vocally Mm pro-equality in office Mm -hmm. yeah both both in the legislature and in the governor's house yeah i was reading a story about how this evolved in minnesota first of all they had amendment two on the ballot and in november in november and patty you said at the um you know less than than a year year ago ago at at what happened last year at the uh, at the uh, Democratic Convention? Well, there are themes on every day, and one, the day that they were going to, we knew that there were going to be speakers talking about marriage equality throughout the evening from the podium, mm-hmm. you know, in this giant arena. Um, lots of people who were prepared, and we had signs ready and, and stuff to go, you know, rainbow this and that and, and such to, you know, celebrate our support for marriage equality and the Minnesota delegation which is not just LGBT people but um, everyone in the Minnesota delegation wore a no on two t-shirt and so it was this block you could see of people um, who who stood up together and said no Mm -hmm. Uh, and so that that was really just just so heartwarming to see fellow Democrats and and they weren't you know, necessarily LGBT people, but they were supporting us just like the whole party was, and the and the president and such. And if you recall, it was I guess it was Thursday, Thursday May 9th was the one year anniversary, one year mm-hmm. of President Obama endorsing marriage equality. Yeah. And look at what a year that was. It has been a, a year amazing. Yeah, you know, and that was prompted, if you remember, by Joe Biden <laughs> being on Meet the Press and coming out. Got to have the skis. Got yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here's what he said just uh, this week about it. He said, I got blowback from everybody but the president. And everybody was saying, oh, my God, Joe Biden, the president, you know. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you doing to the president? I got blowback from everybody but the president. I walked in that Monday, and he had a big grin on his face. He put his arms around me, and he said, well, Joe, God love you. You say what you think. (laughs) But he said, I knew he agreed with me. It wasn't like he was in a different place. Mm-hmm. Right. And I think most of us knew that. And what he goes on to say is, uh, Obama was planning on coming out for marriage equality sometime during the campaign. This pushed up the schedule. <laughs> but that was probably a good thing. Mm-hmm. Because had it backfired, which it didn't, mm-hmm. but had it backfired, that would have been a problem close to the election. This way, you know, it was in May. Well, and... and what it did was energize the GLBT community to get out and vote for him, and that very well could have made the difference. Mm-hmm. I mean, HRC did some, what I think is probably a bogus analysis, that the LGBT vote, if it's isolated, was what put him over the top. And It, it might have, though, in several yeah, states. In several states. But the point is, is that a lot of us were kind of, yeah, we'll support him, but it wasn't that wholehearted, enthusiastic, mm-hmm here take all of my money Mm -hmm. support that it had been the previous time and when he made that announcement it turned into that again yeah and i really do think that that made a big difference and in addition we now have how many uh legislators in congress who are gay right seven seven yeah i think that's part of it that it it was not just the marriage equality well yeah i I agree with with marriage equality well if i agree with marriage equality i can vote for this person doesn't really matter that he's gay I think there was a lot of that. In 2000, the Gill (coughs) Foundation did that kind of like seminal study about LGBT voters and attitudes. And they found that they did exit polling across the country in that very contentious 2000 election and found that, um, you know, people who knew someone that they knew to be LGBT, um, when 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 they did, they voted differently. They voted in support of legislators and, and others who, who support us. And what they found was like a, a minimal amount of, of folks, like 13%, said that they didn't know anyone to be L- LGBT. Mm-hmm. And which they're, they're just, they just don't know who they are. They've met them. Right. Yeah, but they just they, they haven't consciously been told right, right. I'm you LGBT. Get, yeah, we always said, you know somebody. But, in the, but the outcome <laughs> of that was that 5% of the voting electorate was L- was gay and lesbian? Actually, it didn't cover transgender folks, but the were gay and lesbian. Five percent can change an election every which way. Which right. is why the conversation is so important. You know, it's it. it there's less inf- emphasis, as I like to say, on coming out now because, well, you know, oh, you know, it's no big deal. Why would you even need to? And but you need to. Mm-hmm. I mean, if there are people that are 
virulently anti-gay or you know spouting bumper sticker religion at you you need to tell them that you're gay mm-hmm. and that you know you're as valuable a uh, citizen as they are yeah and one way to tell people that you're gay this is pledge drive right now is to support knon and hear your own personal announcement on the air or if you're an su- ally they're suggesting well they're suggesting um celebrating a birthday uh surprise a friend honor an anniversary ah an- honor an anniversary Hi, I'm Patty. Hi, I'm Aaron. And we're celebrating our 35th anniversary together. What a great message. Yep. If you'd like to sponsor uh, your own personal message, it will be on the air at the top of every hour for a 24-hour period. Uh, it's a great way to get the message out beyond just Little Lambda Weekly, which is on one hour a week. It would be a whole day that you would sponsor. Pledge to KNON, get a pledge of $500. It gets you one announcement at the start of every hour for one full day. Five hundred dollars. Give us a call. Nine, <laughs> nine, nine seven two, two six four seven <laughs> one eight nine three. Thank you, Patty. That's Tourette's. nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. And, and Patty Tourette's. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> she, just, just, she's got the phone number. Yeah. <laughs> just going back to the marriage topic. You know, with this has been just an incredible year of marriage equality, not only here locally, oh, well, nationally, but internationally. I wonder how how this is going to affect what we are expecting next month, which is the ruling from the Supreme Court mm-hmm. on Prop 8. It may not make a difference on how they rule or at all, but I, I it's, it's, it's so flowing our way. You know, I, I think it would just be a big slap to stop that momentum. I, I think Rhode Island passing, Delaware passing, next week Minnesota passing, a possibly, few weeks from now possibly, possibly Illinois, Illinois passing. Which, by the way, I won. Yes, you did. <laughs> uh, Lauren and I had this bet going. Would it be uh, Illinois or uh, Rhode, Rhode Island first? Who even was thinking Delaware? <laughs> but um, uh, I, I really think having that momentum might have some positive impact on the California Prop 8 decision. Um, had there been absolutely none, I don't think, you know, no states passing, I don't think it would have necessarily had a negative effect. But I think the positive news stories about it um, might just affect not the how several people will vote, but the way the ruling is written. Um, and yeah. Aaron, you're kind of well. Uh, I don't think it's going to have any effect on the uh, on the decision. But you're correct; it might have a ruling. Uh, impact on how the ruling is written, but more importantly, it's going to have an impact on how the ruling is reported. You know, whether or not it's, yay, the Supreme Court did, you know, did the right thing and struck down DOMA and struck down Prop 8, or, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, it would have been the Supreme Court is, you know, radical liberal agenda Mm -hmm. kind of spin on it. So, I mean, I think the public perception feeds its own perception, and, you know, with all the positive positivity in the states that are getting marriage equality, I think that people are going to start uh, writing it as the right decision. Mm-hmm. What I think is so interesting too is that at 11 percent, with Delaware, that's an 11th state. States. That's 22 percent. A 12th would be 24 percent, and of course, you know, like 12 and a half would be right at a quarter of the of the United States would be having full marriage equality. I mean, that's pretty extraordinary to me. When we not all that long ago, we sat at like six. Well, mm-hmm. I'm six only, states. It, not only am I surprised that we've had this many states pass it th- this year but i thought okay do we have that many more states that we can pass it in no no it's like i, could, no, I thought Mexico. i thought i thought every well yeah i thought not, all the other states had domas yeah not without undoing some domas yeah. right right yeah. okay yeah yeah you're right new mexico doesn't have a ban but they don't have a, they have some some sort of legal prohibition but it's not a constitutional ban actually new mexico is the one state that doesn't define marriage between it, a man and a not. woman and in Santa Fe, this keeps coming up where they keep saying, you know, it doesn't define it, and there is nothing in our laws that says that a, two men or two women can't get married. And the New Mexico's attorney general said that the, his he's interpretation yeah. that they, we can get married. Well, but, but other people in the state, like the governor, are saying, uh, no, that's, yeah, we They're don't have, have a law for it. They're going to have to rectify that somehow. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. we're about to hit that, and, and I think that's really cool that Minnesota waved off a, a ban and now is turning around and passing now it. what's going to come up are some elections in certain states like nevada which is afraid of losing tourism nevada's entire economy is based on tourism um 
they, they want same-sex marriage. It's a Republican-led state, mostly, and uh, they passed domestic partnerships or civil unions, one or the other, just in order to avoid a tourism uh, boycott. Yeah. Right. They're a state that's likely to overturn their DOMA. Yeah. Yeah, and depending, I mean, that's why the Supreme Court ruling is so very important mm -hmm. about the, the DOMA. And what the wording is in the, yeah. I the ruling. I mean, the, even if they overturn the federal DOMA, it won't affect the state DOMAs, but it's sure going to influence them. Y and what I was saying, uh, Delaware and uh, Minnesota and Illinois affecting a Supreme Court ruling, I was really talking about the California ruling, not the DOMA ruling. Oh, the, the Prop 8? Uh, yeah, the Prop 8 ruling um, I is where, you know, one state, another state, another state, another state. Ooh, with all these states, is it really fair to let people get married, then take it away? Mm -hmm. And laws right. that go back and forth, back and forth? You can't right. do that to people. Right. Well, and, and, you know, the more states that pass marriage equality, until we have to start undoing DOMAs, I mean, that that was the same path that, <coughs> that civil rights took. Right. You know, mm -hmm. it's, 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 a, it's the sweeping tide of the nation. What, when is the court and when is the, the nation You know, and, and speaking of civil rights, how it's marching along, um, Mississippi is a perfect example how this year they voted to uh, end slavery. Right. They adopted the 13th right. Amendment right. to the Constitution. Finally, You're yeah. laughing, Laurent. They did. <laughs> I'm laughing to keep from crying. No, because that's true. It's yeah. actually it's not. True. That's actually not. They didn't actually vote this year. They voted in 1995. It just but didn't they, get ratified. It, it, no, it, it didn't get sent to the um, recorder in Washington. It didn't Washington. get filed. Yeah. Didn't right. get filed. Yeah. So it took from 1995 to 2013 to actually file it. So it's official this year. Well, but bless their hearts in Mississippi. Well, they did know. They had to. Well, I they couldn't read the They couldn't read it, yeah. <laughs> well, well, here's another little interesting, sad Southern fact. The state of Alabama didn't vote to take off their ban on interracial marriage, I think, until 2006. Well, ha has this. There was a poll this year in Mississippi. 46% of Republicans in Mississippi believe that interracial marriage should become illegal again. <laughs> Uh, that was and a poll as we're back. Yeah. Uh, okay. Nine um, seven two six four seven one eight nine three. Uh, Patty, that wasn't a, a sudden enough burst. Try it again. <laughs> nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. It is pledge drive. Give us a call. We need uh, people to give us a call. Support gay and lesbian radio. That's been on the air for. Um, uh, f f uh, since the station went on the air, we're about to celebrate our thirtieth anniversary. Uh, by the way. Uh, Patty Tourette's, how much uh, federal money do we get here at KNON, a nonprofit station? Zero. We get zero dollars, and that really is important. That's why we need you to support us. Other nonprofit stations in this area do get some uh, federal or local money. And our, our entire goal for the entire pledge drive is one day at that other station like you were talking about. We are truly community radio. We are all volunteer. We are all donation. We are we are your station, so please call with your donation to 972-647-1893. Annie, this has to be one school in Georgia, right? Okay, so one school in Georgia, Annie just passed. One school in Georgia had their first integrated prom this year. That's right, they did. Oh, how I exciting. saw that on TV. It, it, yes. it is, and it just shows what progress we're making. Yeah. And I bet they filmed it in, in uh, Technicolor. You know, but when, <laughs> 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 when we say progress that we're making On beta. here's a reason to support KNON you know it's great when the numbers for marriage equality keep going up and it's it's wonderful that more and more people do support equality but who was there before there was a Dallas voice before there was a resource center Dallas before there was anybody other than DGLA was the only group that was around before mm -hmm. then um, and it was KNON who came to DGLA and said in 1983, would you please do a gay and lesbian show for us? And this is one of seven or eight shows that are the original shows on the air from KNON going on the air August 1983. And we're the oldest, longest running LGBT radio show anywhere in the country. Anywhere in the country. We're um, still going. What we we want to still keep going. And what we need the money for are basic, simple things that keep the station on the air. You know, that other station whose seven-day pledge drive wrapped up after more than two weeks yesterday. We don't lie to you about the pledge drive. We we have our numbers up there. We're a little bit more than halfway to our goal. Um, so we'll have a pledge drive again next week, unless we have a great week of pledge drive this week. 
we're not lying to you about um, about where we are in pledge drive. We need the money for things like forty six hundred dollars a month for the tower lease. That's what it costs to rent the space on the tower in Cedar Hill. It's a fixed cost that we have. With that other station, do you know what a percentage of your money goes to? It goes to paying for people who answer the phone in another city and taking your pledge on uh, the, the, when uh, you've been solicited on the air. When you call here... And any and Doc are not being paid. Th uh, Correct. They're, they're not. <laughs> and they're taking your, your pledges right here in the studio. So the number is 972-647-1893. That's 972-647-1893. This is a perfect time to call. We're about to take a break. Manny? If it's time to get rid of your old gas guzzler, the KNON Vehicle Donation Program can help. There is still a market for those old vehicles, and if you donate it, you're helping to support the quality programming here on KNON. Just call 877-KNON-AUTO or go online to KNON.org. We'll take care of everything from pickup to tax paperwork. That's 877-KNON-AUTO. This is William. I watch Lambda Weekly on YouTube.com, recorded live from KNON Studios. I'm Michael from UNT, and I listen to Lambda Weekly on KNON 89.3 FM. Back to Lambda Weekly. I'm Dave Taffet here in the studio with uh, the late Patty Fink and Laurent Landis. And we'll get to the pledge uh, to um, uh, entertainment report in just a second. 972-647-1893. <laughs> That's the number to call with your pledge. 972-647-1893. What number pledge drive show is this for you? You've been on 13 years. We four. do them four times a year. Uh, two pledge drive shows per pledge drive. So you've done... Uh, Cl getting close to a hundred of them, yeah. yeah. 14, fourteen years. years. Has it been Get fourteen years? <clears throat> wow. Getting yeah. close to a hundred of them, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen uh, her jump out of her seat with this phone number like this? <laughs> no, no. How many? <laughs> she is excited about many, that phone how, number. How, how many Starbucks cups did you have this morning? None. In fact, None? I'm on a deficit. I'm on a coffee deficit right wow. now. And wow. maybe that's the problem. Yeah, that could maybe. be the problem. If I haven't um, reached my coffee fill line. But give us yet, a call yeah. now. In the previous show, get off my lawn. Jim shoots. Uh, promised for a $100,000 pledge you could be buried with him. Right, he would be interred with you. Uh -huh. So <laughs> we only need, the station to make our goal, we need $60,000. So wow. I'm, I'm offering up on David's behalf, thank you, and with Brian's blessing, mm -hmm. that for a sixty thousand dollar pledge, that's a sixty thousand dollar pledge to KNON on behalf of Lambda Weekly, David Taffet will go through the drive-through um, at a Vegas wedding chapel, marrying a woman. Wow, it's a sixty thousand dollar pledge. pledge, and Aaron's looking at me. She was not offering you. I. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let me just say right now, no. <clears throat> wow. That is an offer. All right. 972. Marry a woman in the drive -thru. And 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 while Laurent is blabbering, 972-647-1893. That's 972-647-1893. This is the weirdest play drive I've ever been a part of. <laughs> I, I would hope so. Besides yeah. you getting married the previous show, Jim yeah. Schultz was saying he'd get buried with you for $100,000. Exactly. I, I, I think the woman and, thing is a bigger and shock. And we started off the show with right wing radio. We did. We did. All right. Let's <laughs> I'm so scared right now. Okay, we're uh, going into dementia, people. Please call with your pledge and keep us sane. Nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. All right, thanks, Patty. A few <laughs> weeks ago, LGBT ally, ally uh, Brendan Ayamadeo was cut from the Baltimore Ravens, and this week, Chris Clue from the Minnesota Vikings was cut. So a lot of people are starting to think, where do they cut because of their outspoken views on marriage equality? Well, the governor thinks so, the Minnesota governor. He said he thought it was unfair. But, however, there's a really good article on Outsports.com written by Sid Ziegler. He said that uh, the, the idea of them being released because of their support for uh, GOBT causes is nonsense. So he went down a whole list of really good players with better numbers than Chris Clue and um, Brendan, and they got cut also. And Tim Tebow, of course, is unemployed. Tim Tebow is un unemployed also. So it's just part of the numbers game. Well, you know, your numbers aren't up to snuff they let you go so i kind of have to agree with that but i think this is a really interesting time for 
GBT causes and uh, professional sports in general. But because he took that stand, did either of you know him, I, his I, name I, before no. he did this? No. No, and did you see his quote on the whole thing? No. He said something like, um, and I'm paraphrasing, but football is a kids game that men play for money and mm -hmm. if i can make a much bigger difference speaking out on equal rights then so be it yeah and, and you know something and good for him good whether for him. or not he, whether or not he lost his uh position uh on the team because of this having made this stand so many people know the name he'll get endorsements that he oh yeah, yeah. Before, oh, yeah. they're, they're that, not going away that he can live on Oh, you know, I'm not right. worried about this guy. Oh, yeah, and they, they can get picked up by another team, by the way. Oh, sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying even worst case scenario, yeah. but his name's known now in a way that it never was before. Never was. And in that bending arc of history, um, he's going to fall out. I mean, when they retell the story of yes. marriage equality in yes. this country, his name will <laughs> his be name there. His name will be there. Absolutely. And it will be, he's going to be definitely on the right side. It, Otherwise, he just would have been a, a bencher. An yeah. NFL bencher and nobody knew. And, and you know something? I'll bet to him that's more important. I mean, yeah, he basically has, sure. he's said it, oh, basically. Yeah. But he, he's happy with, with where he is. And you know what he would say right now? He'd say it's Pledge Drive at KNON. Give us a call. <laughs> Phones are free. 972-647-1893. One more. Once more. 972-647-1893. All right. Yeah, I wasn't here last week. I was in Seattle. But did you all talk at all about Jason Collins? A little yeah, bit. A little bit. bit. bit yeah. Okay. All right. Just wanted to say. All right, I'll move on. All right, to the surprise of no one, the NBC comedy uh, show The New Normal has been canceled after just one season. It was canceled? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought it was doing well. No, it, it, it came out of the box, like, really strong, but it quickly demised. Oh. I didn't think it was that good of a show, as much as I wanted it to be. It's a show about a gay couple on their journey to have a baby through surrogacy. Uh -huh. But it just, it just wasn't that great. So No I'll, modern family. No, no, it's no modern family. So I'm not surprised at all it got canceled, but it did. And but talk, but you know who's getting a new show? Yes, uh, I didn't put it in the story because Sean think was, Hayes. Sean Hayes playing right. playing a father with um, a daughter who comes to live with him. Yeah, he's divorced and his right. daughter comes to live with but him. But they they haven't said or not it, whether his character is going to be gay or not. They could be. Oh, I just assumed. <laughs> you, you assumed that it would. How could he play anything else? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. yeah, but, I yeah, mean, so. just kind of like the way he would never say while Will and Grace was on whether or not he was gay, and everybody went, oh, please. Yeah, yeah please. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about interesting company. According to a Harris poll, under the generous and the Fox News conservative commentator Bill O'Reilly tie for the title as the favorite TV personality among Republicans. Now, really? Harris, yes, Harris Paul Senior Vice President Regina Corso said that they were so surprised when the findings came out, they went back to double check. And it still came up with the same thing. They tie among Republicans for favorite TV personality. Ellen and Bill O'Reilly. Okay. Really? Well, they're very similar. How so? <laughs> they, both have wear pants. they both have TV shows. They both wear pants. They both have, have wives. <clears throat> right. Uh, yeah, in a way, it doesn't surprise me. Have you ever seen her act where she could be the most outrageous w out there? Mm -hmm. it, it's the most conservative comedy act I think I have ever seen in person. And she never uses a swear word. Never, ever. never, never. If you if you want, she's the cleanest comedian, and she's doing stand up and touring and stuff. Yeah. That's, she is. You can take your kids there. And ease everything up about her relationship with Portia is as. Traditional. traditional and mainstream and family values as you could ever get and her guests i mean the clips that you see of her are the ones where she's out there and saying you know we really need to support blah 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 right but 99 100 percent of her show is just regular guests and she's you know one thing that she does that somebody like Rush Limbaugh doesn't do, and O'Reilly certainly doesn't do, she, no matter what, she is always polite to her guests. Mm -hmm. So if she disagrees Very. with somebody, she's not going to get into an argument with them. Right. Because she does what we do. When we have somebody on, they're our guest. Right. And we treat them that way. Right. And that's what she does, too. She even had a really civil conversation with John McCain when he she was did. the nominee about marriage equality. Who disagreed with her on her show. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But you the, know what? There's a difference between disagreeing on a point and 
arguing and being nasty and being mean and and cutting them off like like O'Reilly does, uh, and that, that's not who we are. That's not who she is. Hmm. Yeah, so, interesting. So that's why she's popular because she lets, but among Republicans she lets her but she lets her her guests speak. She has Republican family values. She does. <laughs> She does. I mean, she really does. If you break it down to their definitions, she does. She yeah. just happens to be in a same-sex mm-hmm. relationship. Right, right. right. She's, like and she's yeah. married. She has, you know, yeah, respectful. Yeah. So, she's so while, while that's surprising, it's when not think really. About it, it right, really right, isn't. Right, 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 it, right, right, there's right. good reason for her to be just um, yeah. good and friendly and people like her. So. Well, bless her heart. Yeah. And last, the Broadway musical Kiki Boots. Leads to Tony no- Tony Award nominations with 13 nominations. Congratulations, yeah. Hal. The musical about uh, the struggling shoemaker and his drag queen business partner was created by Harvey Firestein and Cindy Lauper and was based on a 2000 British film, Kinky Boots. I saw the film. Great, great, great little film. Mm-hmm. I hope, I, I'm assuming that the Broadway play is just as good. Mm-hmm. Oh, it, it. it got raves. Yeah. And congratulations. Hal's a friend of mine from college who is the producer of it, who optioned the. Uh, the, the movie and oh, okay. put Good. them all together to do the show. And uh, if you've so. been a longtime listener of, of Lambda Weekly, then you're familiar with Hal because David brings him up at every opportunity. We've well, been following his career for I, decades. I have been. I have been uh, because, you know, it, it, he's done so well, but this yes. looks like it could be biggest hit he's ever had. Cool. So, yeah, yeah it's do, doing exceptionally well. 972 647 1893. There you go. <laughs> And, and that's it's pledge drive. It's pledge it, it drive. is pledge drive, and that, that's our own beloved. You know what it is? What is it? How much before the show was she here today, Lauren? Fifteen minutes? Yeah, I was pumped. That's and what ready happened. To go. That's, that's what, what happened. She had time to relax before the right. show, and, and it's this relaxing thing that she just doesn't know how to do. I no, can't I haven't had you. enough coffee. Though. Yeah, I, got, coffee. I can't believe you didn't have any Starbucks. It's all about no, coffee. No, I need co- I need Starbucks. I you need. have coffee. Speaking I haven't of had coffee. Enough. That's one of our pledge well, premiums. Pledge it is. is. <laughs> if it you is. pledge thirty-five dollars, you can get a uh, package of KNON coffee. Uh, the money goes to supporting KNON, which uses the money just to stay on the air. It's full uh, city roast, mm-hmm. eight ounces. For a thirty-dollar pledge, you get one bag, and fifty-dollar, you get two bags. The amount that we need for our entire pledge drive is the amount that that other station needed in one day. Uh, 972-647-1893. Give us a call. We're using the money not for big salaries. We're using the things, uh, the money Pay for the things like office rent, for um, uh, office supplies, for phone, uh, for and why do we need a phone line to get the signal from here to the tower? Uh, and the phone services alone cost thirteen hundred and eighty-seven dollars per month. Per and month. with a forty-dollar pledge. <laughs> Uh, we can't go a pledge drive without mentioning this. The black apron, mm-hmm. the black KNON okay. apron, forty dollar pledge gets you a a black KNON apron, which I love. And we're not—I mean, we're not always slick. We're not always professional. This is an all volunteer army here, but we are genuine and we are real, and we are your radio station. You know, there used to be a saying that I just loved it. I don't think they are using it anymore. If you don't like the station, we'll change it for you. Mm-hmm. You know, KNON has something for everyone, and if everyone. you are and if you are one of those people, please show your support. Mm-hmm. By calling 972-647-1893. You know, and, and I'm joking at the beginning of the show, I was saying, oh, you know, so your announcement uh, for marriage equality can go on the gospel show. When we were on before or after gospel, who are our best friends on the station? The gospel, Absolutely. Yeah. Because these are, n- it's not right wing radio, it's people just like us who are playing gospel music. It's not even overly programmed radio. No. I mean, the hosts are the personalities of, of this station, and this show, Lambda Weekly, is the only radio station in the city mm-hmm. that brings you GLBT news and mm-hmm. topics and has your sh- your organization on when they have an event and has people that you care about hearing from on this radio station. So please call 972-647-1893. And a- certainly, if you've been you know on the show multiple times or you've really pushed your, your event on our show you know extend the favor return the favor um have your membership or you know yourself uh give us a call at 972-647-1893 or go online at knon.org and make a pledge and help support us too show some love if you're watching online um or listening online or watching uh the podcast later um 
podcasting costs us two hundred dollars. Not podcasting, broad, uh, broadcasting online, streaming the show costs two hundred dollars per month. Uh, help us support those uh, streaming costs. Podcasting, you know what it costs? Well, once we got the equipment, Doc donates all that. Uh, no hey, cost, Doc. yeah, no cost involved. It's it's just his time to do all that stuff, and boy, does he spend a whole lot of time doing it. But having the bandwidth in order to um, to broadcast it does cost some money. So give us a call, help support us. Just the little bit that it takes to keep that on the air. Our goal during pledge drive is one thousand dollars. That's our portion of what the uh, of what we need. We're still short of that, and it's our second week of pledge drive. Uh, give us a call nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. Uh, with your pledge, whatever you can give. If you give a pledge of forty dollars, forty dollars to get you the T-shirt, the um, which we love people to have because I'm you know, sporting one now. We're we're, we're wearing K N O N T-shirt, but we love that because it's the only money K N O N spends on advertising. We don't have big billboards. We don't have big promotions. And the reason that we don't is because those things cost extra money. K N O N. Every time I wear anything K N O N, I always get called out for it about what a cool radio station it is. About how they love, love, love K N O N. Well, love, love, love us with some money. <laughs> give, <laughs> give us a call nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. I wish you would quit doing that. Nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. Your turn, David. Uh, <laughs> I, I was just thinking. You know, we we get to leave after this, Lauren, but Erin has to go I have home to go with home with her. <laughs> She's going to be saying that in her sleep. Uh, I think it's blurted out at oh, two a.m. They're, at two a.m. They're going to be driving, and Erin uh, will be, you know, just da 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 da, da down the road. Nine seven two six four seven one eight. I have an accident. <laughs> I'm worried about her. <laughs> call us. Maybe I'll stop saying uh, if you If you yes. do call, that might just help just a little bit. Um, we have this great t-shirt now that's got blue bonnets on it. And we were just talking in the break about how after a lifelong fear and, and, <laughs> yes. and you know, uh, re Threat. revere just revering uh -huh. the the blue bonnet in Texas it is I learned that it is not illegal yes. to pluck one mm -hmm. from the ground that's right you, as a Texan we were that was drilled into us yeah, at I, an early I, age very early now you respect ladybird's flowers now we do i've never don't i've be never picking plucked them. one i've never don't plucked one be picking those you leave but them right where they are. You set your baby right in the middle of them, and you take and your picture, <laughs> and you <laughs> leave them alone. The <laughs> and smash them. And I would I <laughs> never, baby's ever. baby's butt in the middle of them. Never picked one and never will. I just won't. But it's nice to know that I won't be arrested for it. Do you have pictures of Gabrielle sitting in a field of blue bonnets? Not yet. You have to. Oh, come it's on. like required. I will. So. Because there's a patch right down the well, street from us that is But blue. you could get her a t-shirt that has a blue bonnet on it. I could. Do they come in like little small size with, with blue bonnets, bonnets on it? On it. <laughs> There we go. In your Easter bonnet. <laughs> With all the frills upon it. Seriously, what size does they come in? Just uh, a small? small. Any extra small? Uh, I don't Let's think we see. have that in children's sizes. No tea no. No, no, no sizes? You need okay. to sit your kid down in a field of blue bonnets, smash them, as long as she doesn't pick them. Right. <laughs> okay. But you can, it small. You can pledge online, 972-647-1893, or give us a call, org or something like that. 972-647-1893, K-N-O-N.org. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming, Aaron. No, oh, Thanks, you're welcome. We're Thanks not over, me. are we? Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, we're we're done. Done. oh it is we're 12 o'clock. Oh, I was looking at that clock. That clock's wrong. See you next David, week. David, go home. <laughs> you are listening to KNON 89.3 FM in Dallas, Fort Worth. Pledge now. Call 972-647-1893 now to make your pledge. K-N-O-N 89.3 FM in Dallas and Fort Worth, the voice of the people. Business owners, tell KNON's listeners about your business. You can put your business or event on KNON. KNON currently has space available to run announcements for you. Tell KNON's listeners about your goods, services, nightclub, concert, or event. Help keep the voice of the people on the air while putting your information on the air. KNON's been named the number one radio station in Dallas by both the Dallas Observer and D Magazine. Put your business with Dallas's number one station. Call now for more information at 214-828-9500, extension 227, or extension 233. For more information, go to KNON.org and click on the Run Spots on KNON page. It's a great way for your business to support community radio while letting more people know about you.